Which just remind me of monkeys in transparent balls rolling through hazardous obstacle courses. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Christoph Jakob, I'm a music composer for video games and today let's check out another single player track from Splatoon 3. Let's go! I already love it. I love the atmosphere in this intro. The music is introducing itself with a little back and forth figure. Which to me instantly sounds a little like you've just entered enemy territory. It sounds a little like someone is scheming something. I mean, it's a simple movement. But at the same time, it already makes the tune so serious sounding. The vocal like synth that serves as the base for this piece of music has an echo only at the beginning. And I'm not sure if it's just me or... Does anyone else hear Mr. Grizz in this echo? It sounds a lot like his voice to me. In general, I'm a fan of the creative use of stuff like reverb, delay or an echo, which you can also hear on the drums in this section. Furthermore, there's this chromatic downward movement in some sort of bell-like synth here. Which is, in my opinion, giving this tune some tension and a general feel of unease. Chromatic movement, by the way, simply means that you're either moving up or down the available notes that you have in music without skipping a single one. Very nice melody. Oh. Double time? The melody is so good. And the bass as well. The bass is fantastic. Right off the bat, the overall mood of this tune actually reminds me a whole lot of another single player tune that I've already made a video on. The main difference being, at least to me, that this tune right here feels a lot more serious or a lot less goofy in comparison. Both pieces of music do share a bunch of elements though. They both have a strong march-like character. They are in a simple and common time signature at least so far, and just seem to be overall rhythmically and melodically simplistic. In the case of it was the steady and consistent drum beat, only focusing on strong beats with little to no variation, as well as the prominent and melodic bass line, and also the loud and catchy synth melody, which in combination form this what we would call march-like character. And in the case of you can hear a similar structure. The drums may not be quite as simplistic as they are in but I'd still say they are pretty simple and straightforward. And in general they have a lot of weight to them or how musicians would say oomph. The bass or the basses to be more precise also once again play an important role in this tune. One of the basses is this voice-like instrument that I already mentioned earlier. The very first instrument that you hear when you listen to this tune. The second one pretty much only serves as a sort of support for this main bass. In case you don't hear it, it sounds very retro and a little distorted overall. Almost like 16-bit FM sounds, something that you would typically hear in classic Sonic games for example.
similar to. The melody is quite loud, strong and played by a thick or multiple thick synth instruments. It's also rhythmically very simple, just like the drums, only really focusing on strong beats. This really contributes a lot to this march-like character. While sounds like you're invading enemy territory, just pushing right through whatever it is that may be in your way, is a little more laid back, I'd say. Like you're standing near enemy territory, carefully planning your next move. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not sure if all of the tunes you can hear in hero mode are supposed to be by the same in-game band, but I'd bet all my statues that both and have to be by the same in-game band. They are just too similar to one another. One little detail about the melody that I'd love to mention here is that while it's rhythmically simple, only focusing on strong beats, I find it interesting that the melodic line ends on pretty much the least stable note you can have to end your melody on, or one of the least stable notes. That's a nice little contrast, showing that while this is overall a somewhat serious tune, it probably shouldn't be taken too seriously. There's a really neat rhythmic element in this section that I wish we would hear on more video game soundtracks these days, to be honest. And that is the concept of halftime and double time. Halftime basically means that you're doubling the intervals between the notes, which makes the tune seem slower overall even though it isn't. Double time, on the other hand, means decreasing the intervals between notes, which creates the illusion of a faster tempo, even though it isn't. Now, whether Moai 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 starts in half time and moves to regular time later, or whether it starts in regular time and moves to double time later on, is probably up for discussion. To me personally, but I don't have any drums expertise, it sounds more like it starts in half time and moves to regular time. In case a drummer is watching this, feel free to let me know if I'm wrong. Half time again. Six four time signature apparently. This entire final section reminds me a lot of the Super Monkey Ball series. I can pretty much hear the timer going blang, blang, blang <laughs> the entire time. I think it's those fast and echoey square lead arpeggios that you can constantly hear in the background in this section, which just remind me of monkeys in transparent balls rolling through hazardous obstacle courses. <laughs> They've used a really interesting and quite unusual chord progression here. If I'm not mistaken, it goes something like this. The drums are returning to their original tempo here, which kind of feels as if the tune had slowed down, which of course it didn't. The section is also in a somewhat odd time signature now. So far, we've been in a simple and consistent 4-4 time signature. The most common time signature, and you'll probably hear it in like 95% of all music out there. 
However, it's moving from a 4-4 time signature to, I'd say, a 6-4 time signature now. If you've seen my videos about salmon run music, then you know I'm a fan of irregular and just eye-catching or, as I like to say, ear-catching elements in music. Let's try and count. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out more videos like this, you can click here. If you'd like to check out my own little Splatoon album, you can click here. And earlier I was speaking of FM sounds. If you'd like to check out an album that contains nothing but those FM sounds, you can click here. See you next time.